Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pico on my shoulder in Wasteland 2. We are currently doing the whole uh, rail nomads up there and uh, I am about to go to the Atchison camp and, uh, and start examining uh, their affairs and see if we can if we can somehow um, develop the um, develop the developments or to develop the relations between the two camps and 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 bring make the railroad whole again. Sappy as it sounds. Also let's check out our gear. Uh, she doesn't need that one now, so let's let's equip her with the smart ass thing. <coughs> Uh, let's give some of do that over to him now that he isn't carrying the extra weapons anymore. Oh, and now they're both encumbered. Well, fuck. Hmm. But I, but I, I need this. Oh, I have read this already. So let's see. I should probably drop the batch it, but. What if I need it? Okay, if that's the case, let's let's keep using the backpack. But whenever I need to talk to somebody, then I'm gonna yeah. Then then I'm gonna switch. Whoa, okay, these are heavy. Now I get it why he gets encumbered so easily. Also, let's let's keep trinkets off his back. So yeah, let's give him the lamp which might become a quest item or something, but let's let's remove all trinkets. Not yet usable. She's the one who just wants to see everything burn. Mm, for a good reason too. But we want to know more before we let everything burn. Actually, I have a plan. What if we have Ralphie with us? Oh. What if we have Ralphie with us once... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, once we come here. Will this change things, I wonder? Or maybe it's safer to only only drag him along once we have already uh, settled some things here. This ain't the time to bother me, Rangers. 
Oh, this is the... This is the Superman. the one we want to be talking right now might not be polite but the sooner you're gone the better let's check what it. are you doing back here go get my daughter away from that monster kekaba might not be polite okay. but the sooner you're gone the better so we get the same speech options even if we break the speech and then return so jesse is his daughter huh Yeah, I would I would like to talk to the others first. Keep the head honchos for lost. Come on, arrest me. <laughs> Who are you? So Rangers, you come to take me down? Well, <laughs> I have had a good run. Just don't expect me to go quiet. I got work to do here, and I ain't leaving till it's done. Oh, did he kill the Hellraiser? Huh? Ain't it obvious? I'm Casey James, security chief. I feel safer already. Damn right I am, and until this war with them Topekans is over, I ain't going nowhere. I'll turn myself in when the fighting's done, but not before. Yeah, you know, for all my countless crimes, <laughs> I bet you rangers have a file on me a mile thick. I'm ADN Bamacitabo, known as the Chisel. You must heard of me, I'm the last of the hard men. You savvy? Nope. Why do they call me the chisel? Ha! <laughs> Everybody knows why they call me the chisel. It's because I... Because I... <laughs> well, what do you know? I, I forgot why they call me that. Because you ain't too sharp? <laughs> too many to name. Crimes, misdemeanors, uh -huh. rude things. You calling me soft? <laughs> I've shot men for less. A lot less. Not that you could bring up anything specific now, would you? I'm a security chief, ain't I? I provide protection against them real thieves and them Topekans, and he provides me with a yurt to stay in. Maybe not the best price I've ever charged, but you just watch your step, whippersnapper. <laughs> I'll earn every penny. You're standing it. And I hate these goddamn hippie teepees. Still, I beat sleeping out in the dust with them uh, lizards. <laughs> That's right. Knew I'd scare them off sooner or later. Uh -huh. Tales of the chisel wreck terror in the hearts of weaker men. Right. That fool ranger came around here a few weeks back. Wanted to take me in for questioning. I sent him packing, just like I'll do to you. And good riddance, coppers. Oh, is he gonna turn hostile? Back for more rangers? You must like pain. And good riddance, coppers. Okay, he probably doesn't actually know anything about Hellraiser. Somebody else probably killed him. Okay, where's our exit? There. We should check our weapons. Hello. Did we check behind the huts already? I think we did. Also, in manual save.
suppose if we're making choices here, it's better to have several stepping stones. Should, yeah, I think this is the time when we should bring Ralphie because he has like mad toaster skills. I'll be right back. Okay, is this the house? Yep. Okay, we need to talk to Libby. Oh, Rangers! I heard what you did for my Ralphie. Thank you. I would give you gold if I had it, but all I have is this old apple. Well, <laughs> you have a mighty I machete. Give you my <laughs> boy. I know it sounds heartless, Rangers, but I can't feed him in this godforsaken place. With the train not running, nobody around here is making a living. Taking Ralphie would be a kindness to me and him, and he's awfully handy with a slingshot. He could help you. What do you say? Will you take my Ralphie and make a ranger out of him? <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, rangers. You've saved both of us. Now come along, Ralphie. These nice rangers are your new parents. You have to go with them now. Yeah, we're like totally parents. Gee, that's great. This place is nice and all, but I'd rather be out having adventures with you. Okay, manual save here. Another one. Uh, let's check the gear. Now I'm just gonna give stuff uh, to him that's, that's duplicated. And I think we have a pet rock waiting for him. Yes. Oh, why why not this too? Why not the snow globe? Oh, and I wanted to do this thing where everybody has a phone. Okay. Mm. Let him have some of the ammo that others are not using, just in case. Some more of this. Okay. And one of these. Show me your skills. Brawling animal whisper, test repair. Can't give him any clothes, okay? 
Huh. And pass don't count as armor, do they? Oh well. So I'm considering giving him a pistol, but I'm not sure about that. Ooh! More kit stuff. And this doesn't count as armor, so I'm not gonna give it to him. But I am going to give these. Montage time. This is why Jesse comes to see me in the Topekan camp. There's nothing here. <laughs> and we have our first NPC, well, NPC ish um, commentary to the surroundings. Okay, let's enter this house again. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, toaster, of course. Ooh, 80%. Oh my goodness. We're encumbered. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, let's let's give this one to Ralphie as well. For now, at least. Hmm. Oh, yeah, marbles for Ralphie. Ammo as well, I suppose. I'll try to not over encumber him as well right away, but it's useful to share some of that weight at least. Okay, so if we go here now. This guy I've lived too speak long anything already. else? Back for more rangers? You must like pain. Yeah, we're totally in pain and right good now. Good riddance, coppers. Look at all this cool junk. 
traitor! Quick save. What's this? <laughs> okay. You talk trade. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> um. Give us everything. Okay, let's let's sell some stuff. Let's see if we can sell anything. This is antique. And we have some others elsewhere. Okay, I guess this is antique. Take it before I change my mind. So nobody ah, let's give this one to Ralphie instead, because if I if I should give him uh, the mm, mechanical repair, then he can use it. I am not going to sell the eyes. Mm -mm. can sell these and if we need them we know where to find them antiques after all Are gifts. I'm not gonna sell these. Okay then. I guess the next thing would be to go and turn in our uh, fine hardware. Also, yes, 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 I know. Okay, let's check here as well. Ooh, nice fire. Oh, okay. Ah, I'm very sorry, ladies. We are already going. And we are definitely not here to steal your shit. No, ma'am. We're just minding our own business. I told him. Maybe check behind here. Anything to declare? No, oh, we can't even get here. Okay, let's go and uh, and talk to the arcade guy. Also, before we do, I have an idea. Yo. Pick 
Situs est faetum, currus avriga paterni, ken si non tendit, magnis tanmen exidit absis, okay. homo est deus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, show me Ralphie's stats. Ah, oh, okay, he's also non-religious, so he doesn't get yelled at. We should also uh, check uh, check the meeting site and show Rafi the uh, letter that Jesse has left for him. Yes. Go 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 go. this guy doesn't want uh, the rest of the hardware then I might leave it in the archive for possible later retrieval I used to be in this place all the time then I met Jesse <laughs> hello The Desert Rangers will help me add to my hardware collection. A CDI! Oh boy! Wow! Whee! Is that what I think it is? I can't believe you found one! Here, have a bunch of quarters. You've got free games on my machines for the rest of your life. Oh, we can use the arcade now? That's awesome. Come again, anytime. Uh, can we... Promotions for everybody. I can't imagine where you found Almost. this, or what you had to do to get it. But I'm impressed. You don't want to know. Anytime. Okay, quick save. Show me. Can we? Can we use these? So what? did he give us in return? Just scrap? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. We know. You've told us. Okay, uh, choose his letter. Also, is this one operational? Or I mean any of these? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. to the dead end, didn't we? Uh, here. Totally are. They may have been bigger, but they fell. Is this the place? Ah, 
Ah, no, that's the chunky, chunky yard. We need to go here, I think. Or even here. Yeah, we need to go here. Okay, so this is just like a regular thing that she that she does, I guess. Okay, we're gonna montage our way back to the to picking camp. See you there. I mean, Atchison mm -hmm. camp. Okay, so are there any more houses that we should visit before we before we speak with the chief? Oh, I don't think so. I think yeah, I think we might actually be ready to talk to the chief. Ah, uh, can we talk to Melissa or what? Yeah, Melissa was her name. Don't take too much time, Rangers. My gun is getting impatient. Yes, yes. This is the quote unquote security chief, and this is him. Snooping around again, Rangers? Um, maybe. Can we, you know, just browsing? Oh, that's right. Um, I think it's time to auto sort. Yes. Logbook, farmer's diary. Where's part one? Here? Nope. Okay, so this is the verse that we heard uh, being sung before. Got it. Okay, I need my charisma color now. What Hello. are you doing back here? Go get my daughter away from that monster Kekaba. Don't remember his name. Him and Jesse were friends hmm. before that thief Kekaba kicked us out of the Topekan camp. I told Jesse she'd have to make friends with the Atchison kids now, but she's stubborn, like her dad. Um. 
Okay. So he doesn't actually speak right. up. Really? We've been fending for ourselves so long, I forgot what a kind word sounded like. Do you mean it? Just name your price. So yeah, I think uh, I missed a memo somewhere. I didn't even, I didn't even realize Jesse had been taken by anybody. I, I, I don't know. I. All right, you win. Huh. This war's done nothing but kill children on both sides. I don't know why I couldn't see it until my own daughter was threatened, but, well, go tell Kekuba that if he gives me back my daughter, I'm done killing and ready to bargain. Well, that was easy. Well, at least this this part was. Why would you think that had anything to do with me? There's plenty of coffee cans lying around in the world. <laughs> Of course I've got gunpowder. We use it to blow up rocks when we're laying track. Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. What is she carrying now? Okay, let's make a manual save here. Okay, okay, not okay. Be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what did you pick up now that's so heavy? Oh, she she's wearing that. Alrighty. Oh, let's see Ralphie's stance. Okay, 432 to play. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until everybody is leveling up. Time to montage back. See you there. Okay, and we're back on this side. So this is the point where we actually make an approach to the big house. And I have no idea how to handle that or what's awaiting us in here. Ah, okay. So this is where we might get busy. Or maybe we would need to because if we just use the main entrance then okay if we had to we could cut the power oh, that's alarm I think okay so maybe I will level up before we enter. Let's see about that. <laughs> are we are they going to sing again? Yo. Part one, but where did it go? Did I sell it by accident? That would be a bummer. Yeah, let's just do all the sort for everybody. She doesn't have any books. She doesn't have any books. 
Well, he doesn't have any books. And he doesn't either. I don't know. And before I let that oh. drill beat me down. I'll die with the hammer in my hand. Lord, Lord, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. Let's make another manual save here. If there was a shootout thing going down, po possibility of a shootout. There. Keep an eye on the golden spike. Don't let anyone near it. We are being in. Oh, so that's where part one is. Okay, let's read. Yes, sir. This is also from uh, Wasteland 1 because that's when uh, I think that's when the synthetic uh, that's when the robots uh, took over something wasn't it or was it before that I don't know having two hands, doesn't he? Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, that's that's the midriff. Red barrels. Why are they all on one armed? Solidarity or something? Ah, Rangers, good to see you. Before, oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably better not to go over there. Also, well, let me put my charisma color on. Hello. Welcome. My people have told me how you saved the Parker boy from drowning. It is an honor to speak to such brave heroes. How can I help you? I normally don't approve of Topekans traveling with outsiders, but in this case there is no loss to the tribe. Really? Help 
help with what? If you wish to help us with outside threats, then you are welcome. But we can handle our internal conflicts on our own, thank you. Stay out of it. Sure you can. Our greatest threat at the moment is these rail thieves who have set up a hideout somewhere near the Atchison camp and who are ambushing anyone who dares travel the road between us. How are we supposed to conduct a war with our <laughs> bitterest enemies when these bandits attack our war parties? It is a great inconvenience. Now that is the true spirit of the Desert Rangers. Protecting the wastes from <laughs> lawless scum. Not telling law-abiding citizens how to solve their problems. Thank you, Rangers. Now <laughs> we can continue our righteous work to damned Adjacent's unbothered. A small token of gratitude is yours. Really? Okay, let's see. They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them for scrap. Now they hover above us like buzzards, waiting for us and the Atchisons to kill each other so they can swoop in and scrap our train cars and our locomotives. Filthy scavengers. <sighs> it was the Atchisons, wasn't it? Their bombs have been killing and maiming us by the dozens. That we once considered them brothers is unthinkable. Claim we've stolen their precious golden spike, and it was never theirs to begin with. Our conflicts with them will not end until each and every Atchison hangs. I'll have one of my choppers assist the poor man. Okay. It might be wise to take a break in the conversation and and amp up my talking skills I guess Let's see they are my personal guard men so loyal that they severed their left arms <laughs> when I lost mine in the great train wreck the Atchison's greatest sabotage they smashed the ties and our train derailed I was driving that train and lost my arm in the wreck now I can never drive again. I will never forgive the Atchisons for that. Ah, that's that's the occasion that's probably just a normal accident. It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two arms to drive a train. Why? Yes. To honor me and the arm I lost in the wreck. Do not think it makes them less dangerous. They can still kick your asses. Okay. Keep out of our business, Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another save here. Can we radio in? <gasps> Copy, oh, okay. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Echo One, your <laughs> progress merits a number of field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. <gasps> We've done well. Now, let's see if we can... Ah, oh, she lost some strength. Damn. Okay. Let us check our skills. Skill points. Can we get perks? Nope. Hmm. Perception, leadership, smart ass. So for her, weapons are not priority, talking is. Four points, four points. I can only use one. Yeah, let's let's add up to this.
keep these two points in reserve right now. any new skills right now for oh I can't can't at once the ones that he already has because you don't have enough In this case, wait until the next level. Okay, and he needs to get either surgeon or medic. Yeah, let's, let's give him surgeon. And does he get perks? Nope. Any attribute points for anybody? Oh, okay. He gets one. Hmm. Yeah. Let's give him more smarts because then he gets more skill points. Oh, awesome. Wait. Oh, why can't we add to anything else? Is it because of the unluckiness? I'm not gonna use this unlock. Nope. So I'm gonna keep this one on reserve. And she doesn't get any. Okay. Well then, let's carry on. Thank you, Rangers. But we'll take care of this on our own. Choppers, we okay. have a drug dealer in one of the abandoned rail cars. You know what to do. Um, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned this. I am very tired of telling it. But if I must. Once, the Atchisons and the Topekans worked together in harmony. But then Casey James became angry with us because he believed the Golden Spike was Atchison property and that we'd stolen it from them and grown wealthy because of it. He told his people to sabotage the rails, causing our first train to wreck. We have been at war ever since. I like how he suddenly speaks slower. <laughs> Do you understand? Once we worked hand in hand with the Atchisons. We tended the trains, they tended the rails. It grieves me that we fight, and we have tried to make peace since then, but they continue their aggressions, stealing essential parts, planting bombs, and so the feud continues. They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. Uh, what we happened haven't there? the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. We keep hoping the Atchisons will stop their atrocities and return to the bargaining table so that we can work together again. But it doesn't seem to matter how many of them I hang. They still won't see sense. <laughs> yep, that's motivation right there. Of course I am. I was driving that train personally. And it was not I who wrecked it. And the Atchisons didn't stop there. Now they've stolen essential parts from our second train. And we can no longer travel or trade. 
Until the break shoe is returned, we are at war. Okay, I guess I have to ask about this again. How could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? And besides, the Golden Spike is all our property. Topekans and Atchison's alike. We don't keep it in our town hall because we want to keep it out of Atchison hands. We keep it here because the hall is secure, unlike their impoverished little camp. Yeah, what, what happened there? What, what did he do? The display case is locked, and my choppers are on guard at all times, and will attack anyone who attempts to take it. No, we will get it back on our own. We do not require outside assistance. Sure. The leader of the Atchisons. Once we were friends. We worked side by side. He to maintain the rails, I to maintain the trains. Now he is my enemy and uses the weapons of a coward. A quick death is too good for him. We are a peaceful people, <laughs> honest traders who once crossed the wastes like gods upon our iron horse. And we will again as soon as we have taken back from the Atchisons what is rightfully ours. They do not fight with honor. They sabotage and plant bombs like cowards and weaklings. It is only because I continue to hope for peace that I have not killed them all. Instead, I make examples of their worst offenders in hopes the rest will learn. Right. The sacred golden spike was given to our forefathers before the apocalypse by the hammer god <laughs> John Henry and is a symbol of our right to rule all the rail tribes. It is our most sacred relic. The Adjacents believe it is theirs alone, but they are liars and shall never have it. The first of our tribe and the greatest, a fighter of robots and a driver of steel, who laid all the rails you have ever seen and died with his hammer <laughs> in his hand, Lord Lord. Mm -hmm. I told you before, our private affairs are not your concern. Besides, I doubt it's possible. Okay. So let's not ask about Keep just out of just our business, yet. strangers. Is she alive? Okay. Uh, yo, Jesse. Gee, I usually only get to Come go on, in here on important occasions. Me. Yeah, we're not gonna break her out. Instead, let's see. Let's put our thingy back on. some things to him. <laughs> okay, and before we go to the other side again, I'm going to end an episode here. So cliffhanger row. And I'm going to return in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.